Kobe played his final game. What more can we say about Kobe? Champion, multiple times, NBA MVP, Finals MVP, two-time gold medalist, third all-time scoring. So many great things to say about Kobe Bryant. And I find it funny that all of a sudden everybody wants to emerge and act as if they were Kobe fans when the times when we when the Lakers were down, a lot of people were blaming Kobe for it. When uh, Kobe was going through his issues in Colorado, they were blaming Kobe f for it, call him a rapist, yada, yada, yada. All of a sudden, there's all these Kobe fans. But to all the real fans and to all the real Kobe supporters and Los Angeles Lakers fans, you know, we've witnessed a tremendous run. We have seen a player grow up from right in front of our very eyes, from 18 years old all the way up to now. He is really, literally, the, the, the closest thing we've ever seen to Michael Jordan. But what was great about Kobe is he actually put a twist on his game, and he did things that Jordan ne didn't necessarily do. We all know Kobe took tougher shots. Kobe... The way that he channeled his game, it, it was similar to Michael, but different in a way. It was just a different kind of aggression. See what I'm saying? We were just so blessed and lucky to go ahead and, and see such a great career unfold in front of us. Anything that you actually wanted him to do on the court, he could do it. He could guard your best player. He could score when needed to be. He could hit clutch shots. He could make clutch plays. You know, one of my favorite plays was when... He won his first championship without Shaq in 09. And it was overtime. And they send a double team on him. And he passes out D Fish. And D Fish hits that three. And Kobe did hit a guy in the in the jaw with a bow. But that just epitomized to me what Kobe was all about. He was about winning at all costs. It didn't matter if he took the final shot or if D Fish took the final shot. All he wanted to do was win. He put everything on the line for winning. He worked hard on off season. He took care of his body. He he destroyed clowns when they needed to be destroyed. You know, people had the uh, Kobe stopper, Ruben Patterson. Shot him, scored forty on him in the next playoff game. The thing about Kobe that I love is he was the same in the regular season as he was in the playoffs. He didn't shy away from big moments. He never had times where it was just like. He's shrinking. He never had LeBron moments. He he just only stepped up to the plate. He guarding people's best player. Even in his decline in the last three or four years, we all could see that the writing was on the wall and he couldn't play the, the, the type of basketball that we were used to him playing. He still was doing those things, guarding people's best player, playing great defense, um, scoring when the team needed him to score. Anything that needed to be done, he did it. You know, a lot of people call him a ball hog. They say he wasn't a willing passer. He's the only player with over 30,000 points and 6,000 assists. Over 6,000 assists. So what are you saying there? The Black Mamba. I salute you, brother. Thank you for all the years. Pretty much, if you want to talk about guards, you know, we grew up pretty much on Iverson and Kobe, and then much more of Kobe because Kobe continued that longevity. You know, he's he's been a part of some of the greatest teams to ever play, especially that Lakers team that went through the playoffs and only lost one game, and that was the Allen Iverson in 2000. So that being said, man, we just want, I just want to salute Kobe. I want to thank him for all the great seasons. I mean, one more five championships. Two finals MVPs, 81 points in the game. The list goes on and on and on and on. And that just shows you how great he was. You know, in my opinion, he's the top 10 great of all time. You know, he could be top five or whatever the case may be. He has the hardware. His game spoke for itself. And what's crazy is a lot of the times when he was in his prime, his team was garbage. You know what I'm saying? He had Smush Parker, Kwame Brown. So imagine if they put a, they had built a great team around him around that time. He had games where he scored 
50 points in four straight games. I mean, come on. What more can you say about the man? Thanks again, Kobe Bryant. Appreciate it. Much love. Yeah. This is Vlad from Hoops Junction. Or Hoops meets Hoopla. Peace.